Hey folks, it's your boy Shady and today I'm gonna show you something, something that is mind-blowing, something you should replicate and do it yourself. I'm gonna show you how to win a raid without putting in much effort, without putting yourself into danger because this is something I learned over the last thousand hours. I always thought that if I'm gonna be better and pushy, then you know, I'm gonna make more money, but that's not the case. The game is evolving, the game is changing, transforming into something that the more you rat, the more cautious you are, the more sneaky you are, the better. Because then you just simply don't die and then you can walk out with a fortune. And please don't share with anyone that this is the fastest way to the free save, okay? You run to defense and then energy drink and then to the save. Don't share it with anybody because then I'm gonna lose the advantage and you as well. But basically this is how to get to the free save quickest, fastest. And then open the free save and then have that yeah boy yeah boy this is this is what i was looking for a teapot yeah boy even though if you are opening the locked rooms often you don't find anything and there you go free save teapot what a start this is how to start a raid on northridge northridge hotel and always open the drawers the jackets because what i did is that i almost ran past this green lovely jacket and look at that a ticket of his key a ticket of his key versus 200,000. and what i did because my composite case was already full i put it into my pocket so if eventually i die maybe the enemy is not gonna search my pockets and they're not gonna oh, no, find the key yards. sneaky sneaky after having 700,000 already in my bag lesson number one don't always feel inside that you are the one who needs to push. I had a teammate and I knew that somebody is coming. Maybe a guy was also rushing the free save and then it's already open. But I wasn't actually pushing that guy. I was just throwing a nade and waiting kind of to see what's going to happen. Then I was even falling back and put myself into a position where I was absolutely safe. Even if we are getting attacked, this is what happens. My teammate is the first target and I was kind of shooting that guy from the side. And this is why you shouldn't be rushing. This is what awaits you. This is like the other side of the coin, okay? If you rush, then you're gonna run into the enemy, run straight into the enemy's gun. Lesson number two, never underestimate the boss and the guards. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't expect them to be here and I got a little heart attack. I was almost absolutely sure that I'm gonna die during the fight. I was already waving to buy, buy ticket off his key, I'm gonna lose you. But fortunately, somehow I could keep myself alive. The next lesson I wanna show you is that even if your teammates are doing stupid shit, then don't follow them. This guy, by the way, on the floor, he was looting a, a, one of the kills and he wasn't joining the fight against the guards because there were multiple guards still attacking and those guards, they, they hit hard. I was trying to be the nice guy, like, you know, trying to support my teammate, but I just didn't just run out and, and shoot them. Look at that spray, look at that spray. How, how beautiful shady spray that was. No, it was terrible, but this is part of the game. You know, it sometimes happens. But what I'm trying to say is that even if they run into a pack of guards, then don't follow them because they're gonna kill you. My teammate, the blue one died, and then the yellow one also died, which put me into an interesting one versus one situation against the bot. And I was so confused. Why are bots throwing smokes to fall back? since when they started doing that but anyways i felt like that that guard is gone it's safe looting so i did and i picked up all of the t5 stuff and the vss from my teammates kill and then out of the blue this freaking guard was sneaking up on me like he didn't even make any noise he was sneaking up and he almost destroyed me so don't do stupid things the next thing I want to show you is that if you have already a red item, then the likeliness of having an additional red item, at least for me, is close to zero. I never ever had a second red item in the hotel after getting one from one of the safes. You know, I, I never had one. 
Anyways, there were other people incoming. I saw the footsteps, I saw the shots. So I was quickly picking up Fred's wedding ring just to make sure, you know, I have that. And then I was hiding. And guys, what you don't see, but you need to know that I didn't have too much ammunition. I had one single 30 round magazine and that's it. And I was like sneaking up on that guy because I knew he's gonna check what's happening. And I saw him, but I didn't want to shoot. I didn't want to shoot because, you know, I just wanted to have a nice recording. And, and by the time I wanted to shoot, he was already gone. I was also trying to kind of evaluate if he has any teammates. And actually, yes, he had. So if I would have started shooting him, maybe we, he would have died. But then the other guy like comes up. And if you listen closely now, there was another guy underneath me. So there was one guy running to the top floor and then was another like below me. So I decided not to fight them because that guy had a camping bag and that's the next lesson. You don't need to fight all of the players. It felt like that he doesn't have good loot. So I was just, you know, running away. I, I wasn't running away because I was super scared of them. Yeah, I didn't have too much animation. So anyways, I was picking up this last save. And since I saw that he might be going to the dam, I was quickly trying to get to that corner, check the area. Maybe I'm going to find him, but I think he was like already far away. So what I did as the last thing, I was checking this free save and surprise, surprise. I mean, how? How often does it happen that this safe is unlooted? Like never, right? And uh, well, I didn't expect any red items, but I was even surprised that I got a second typewriter, which is cool because it's like 50 or 60k. And if you consider the whole game, I had one single kill. I was just playing, you know, smart, not hard. So follow that one million, easy one million. Thanks for your attention. Shoot, loot, subscribe. See you next time. Bye.